Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we're gonna head over onto Silver Ridge Peaks and we're gonna check out all of the Rocky Mountain Elk hotspots. But before we get into the video, if you haven't done so yet, would you please hit that subscribe button, ring that notify bell, and if you do enjoy the video, please leave a like. And I wanna thank you so much for being here today. Alrighty, so, okay, so we are gonna check out Elk in their drink zone. And elk drink very, very briefly from 4 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. And from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. That's it. So if you are going to hunt them in their drink zone, good chance you're going to have to change the time probably a couple times to get around to all the spots that you need to get to. Now I am hunting for the purposes of this video in the morning drink zone. But might be even easier in the evening. You're going to have light at the beginning of the zone. I just like to start in the morning and that way I can hunt the whole day through. And that elk is piled up right over there. And you can see them pretty well in the dark. They're pretty light. And that is the gold. 374.7. Level 4 gold. Popped them in the left lung from 184.2 meters. And I do like that lake a lot <laughs> for pronghorn, for elk, for mule deer. Awesome little lake. Now, I have seen elk in certain spots on multiplayer servers that I don't see them on my map. So, you know, these spots can vary very much. I am going to show a map with my hotspots on it at the end of the video, and I will also post it to my Discord. But for the video here, what I'm doing is I'm showing you what I spot on the lake, and then I'm showing you which lake I'm on. And then I will mark that on the map that I will show at the end of the video. And we have some elk here. This lake is an awesome little spot. I always find at least two, sometimes three need zones for elk drinking on it, so I would definitely check this lake. And now we have headed up to the top of the map. Only have one elk on there. Which is interesting, just a level three. Where are the rest? <laughs> that's that lake there. I guess that's a little and bit. And this is the next lake over. These are the two top lakes. And again, I only have a level three. And that's that lake there. But generally, you should find elk drinking there. I think that I just have a very sad map. Because <laughs> I have been there on multiplayer servers and found a lot more elk there than that one that's on my map. And sometimes you're going to find herds with just females in them. And sometimes you're going to find herds with piles of males. It's just very, very... It's very random. And that's that lake there. Not too far down from Cougar Watch. We'll take a shot on this guy. And when you're hunting for elk, you can use the 300, the 338. Seven mil works great. And if you're hunting with the bow, I would use the 600 grain arrows. Or you can use the 700 grain if you're using the Alexander Longbow. And he is a silver 275.4 trophy. Not a very big one, but they're all good for respawns and especially for respawning for rares, so might as well take them out and you can make yourself a little bit of cash. The threes look so big. They look like they're fours and the fours look like they're fives and the fives look insane. <laughs> That's my take on the elk. <laughs> And I'm pretty happy about it. That's a pretty nice big herd of elk. And that's this lake here. All those lakes along the left hand side of the map are really great for elk. I understand they're really good for mule deer during their drink time. <laughs> Not sure. Oh, I got him. Another smaller elk. And that's a silver. 
And that's that lake there. And so we've gone all down those lakes along the left. And I am using the night vision binoculars. They are great as long as it isn't foggy and it is foggy. So they're not the best in the fog and they're completely useless in the rain. But when it's clear, I think they're great. This is this little lake down in the Narrows. We have elk there. And uh, just a level two on this lake. <laughs> oh, there's more. And a four. Oh, we have more. There they are. Look at all the elk coming in. That looks like a nice four as well. That's a nice one. And we might as well take a shot on this big guy. Bang. You're dead. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, I just made like seven videos in one weekend because I'm away this week and I am giddy and tired. So I do apologize if I am losing my marbles because I think I might be. And that's a beautiful gold for 19.3. And this is the lake we found them on. Bottom left corner of the map. And there was a lot of elk there. That was a really good spot. And always check in the trees and behind the bushes. Nice little four hiding back there. Be even nicer if there's a nice little five or a big five hiding back there. But that has not happened to me yet. I have actually found two fives. But I do not have a diamond yet. And looks like we have another pretty nice one down there. He didn't get spooked off by the shot. So he gets his very... And we highlighted the female. Oh yeah, he's dying. He is definitely dying. And... I already featured that lake at the beginning of the video. It's one of my favorites. And that is a level 4 gold, 368.1. Pretty nice little elk. And let's go find that level 3. And he is a silver, 340.1. It's hard to know where all their feed zones are going to be because they're so random. They're just kind of all over the place so I guess drinking water I mean you know where to find the water the unfortunate part is that their drink zones are so short and we're used to like four hour drink zones and now we have an hour and a half twice a day so that's pretty condensed it's definitely different I think it's kind of cool though I like I like to do things differently I'm okay with it and we're up here northwest of dinosaur hill and we have elk on that lake. And here is the map. So the white circles are my favorite spots for elk and the rest of them, definitely you're gonna find elk there. You may find them on more lakes than that. And I will post this map to my Discord so that you can reference it. So that was hunting for Rocky Mountain elk in their drink zone, but we really can't forget their very important feed zone because that is what they do for most of the day. So they feed from 5 till 17.30 and 18 to 23.30. That's a lot of feed time. <laughs> and generally speaking, you're going to find them feeding within 500 meters of just about every lake. And they will be out in the fields and the pastures. You just really got to keep your eyes open for all those Rocky Mountain elk feeding. And here they come right now. And you're going to find them all over the place. The thing with the feed zones is you're not sure where you can find them. Their zones aren't going to be consistent. 
Whereas when you hunt them in their drink zones, you're going to find them somewhere around the lake. Only problem is that their drink zone is so very short compared to other maps. So it kind of makes hunting them in their feed zone a little more appealing. So there is a herd. Just a level three there. And the bottom left hand corner of the map is supposed to be really amazing for Rocky Mountain elk feeding. That's supposed to be a place that you head where you want to find them. And just walking along the road, putting out calls and see what comes in. And I have shot this guy with the seven mil and that's because I was doing some turkey hunting and I needed to fit my decoys and everything in. And that's just a cute little silver. And that just about wraps up our video for today. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us. We are almost at a thousand subs. Come on, guys, we can do it. If you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button and join us for more videos. Until next time, you take care.